Hey there everyone, Mark here from Soul of My Concept, and it's been a while, I know. So, today it's, uh, something, well, it's something a bit different, actually. Today I'm reviewing, um, 3D Luck Creator Pro. Um, this program has actually come in handy over the past couple of days. So, what can I say about it? Well, it's a pretty nifty piece of kit. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. No, I'm joking. So, 3D Luck Creator, it's a program that allows you to correct the color in imagery. And I'm not too sure how how, um, how you're meant to do it as of yet, but I'm pretty sure you can also take the sort of log for the corrected color, I'm not too sure, and sort of import that into some of your video um, editing softwares. Like, uh, you know when your mind just goes blank? Like Adobe Premiere Pro, I've got it open there, why didn't I see that? Like, yeah, Premiere Pro sort of... Sony Vegas is it Vegas? Yeah. So yeah, you, you, I'm pretty sure that you can use the corrected sort of color uh, in those programs as well. Export it directly from here, so you can fine tweak things. Anyway, moving swiftly on, I'm going to be scoring this product out of thirty. It can score a current, um, a current, uh, a total number of thirty points, and I'm going to be scoring on three different planes. Is that a good one? Yeah, planes. Never mind. I'll be scoring on three different uh, planes. So the first one is going to be user friendliness. The second is going to be performance, and the third is going to be features. And then I'm going to give the overall score, explain what I don't like and do like about the product, and well, you, we'll go from there. We'll go from there. So first of all, first of all, should I say, the product here is called 3D Luck Creator Pro. It's the pro version. It's by um, Oleg Sharonov. I'm not too sure if I've pronounced that right. Hopefully I have. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty little... It's, it's, it's a nice little program, actually. I've, I've enjoyed it. So the image you can see on the screen right now is actually uh, one I took back at Durham Tees Valley uh, last year, I think it was. And the image here has been corrected. You can see I've moved a couple of things on here. Uh, not much on there. Obviously moved that about a bit. And the curves, of course, have moved them as well. So, let's go ahead and say user friendliness. Well, right now, this product has been in my possession for about a week. And uh, I've only used it four times. And I've managed to correct color in about a million different images. Each one getting steadily better than the last. I mean, there's a few little niggles in this one here, like I want to get rid of, like the sort of yellowy tint, or I should say, it's more like an orangey tint, greeny orangey tint that the ground has going further off into distance. But actually, I quite like the look of that. I'm, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So, what I've done to this image so far is I've corrected the color. I will show you the original right now. That's the original image. It's quite bright. It sort of doesn't give you an idea. It's like is that was it was what now? Okay, cool. Nice one. Um yeah, it's quite bright. It doesn't really give you an idea of much. It's just just like someone's taken a picture of the truck. That's all they've done. And there's the corrected version. So it now looks a lot better. The truck stands out a bit better. The paint on there looks a bit cleaner. Look it's nice and sharp. And I've managed to do this with 3D Luck Creator, just by adjusting a few curves, put, pulling some colour correction around, things like that. Now I will say to do this, it's actually very easy. So there's a score straight off the bat for user friendliness. I've had this program for about a week. I've used it three times before. This would be the fourth time I've used it today. And um, yeah, straight away I can say that within those four times of using it, I have just been playing around, playing around, playing around, and that's all you need to do. You don't need to look at tutorials on YouTube. You don't need to sort of right to the creator and go, how do you use it? Because it just comes naturally. So I'm going to give it 10, a straight 10 for user friendliness. We're already, we're already a third of the way there. So user friendliness straight out the box, 10, definitely. It's so easy to use. I mean, I have managed to make this image look a hell of a lot better just by adjusting the curves and the AB color here. I mean, there's been a lot that's happened on, on this chart, to be honest with you. But yeah, like, we have the sliders down the bottom here, and uh, they sort of give you the idea of what you want to do with the image. So, blacks, obviously, that adjusts the blacks. Just put that back to the center. So, 
yeah, you can play around with it. Whites, obviously, adjust the white balance, things like that, the gamma exposure, etc, etc, etc. So, you have everything you need literally right in front of you here. It's all in this little panel. So, straight off the bat, user friendliness, 10 out of 10. I can't fault it in any way. I have been <laughs> no more than playing with this program, and I already know how to use it. That's, that's, that's just perfect. That is wonderful. That hardly ever happens these days. So, moving on there to uh, performance. Performance, what can I say about performance? There's no impact at all. There is literally no impact. Even when saving, it, it doesn't take very long to save. Your, it, like, it saves in seconds. Not even that. So, performance, I can't, I can't say anything about it. Performance is the shortest one here. Performance, 10 out of 10. Again. So, 20. We are two-thirds of the way there. Okay, now, moving on to features because there's nowhere else to go. Um, the features of this program are, as I've mentioned, they are all aimed at color correction, color manipulation and things like that. You can click on a particular part of the image and a box will appear to show you where that color is based in the spectrum. You can then move particular points around and um, after you've done that, you can move particular points around, sorry, and then you can correct that color using those points. So just wave the mouse across here, you can see all those boxes sort of lining up and jutting around there. Yeah, so that's where the particular color is actually located. Go into the skies, we get lighter, sort of come this way, move further towards the center as we get lighter and lighter. And there we are. So yeah, you can correct pretty much any part of the image. And, uh, you know, the contrast, it's got all the basics as well, the contrast, the brightness, gamma correction, things like that, it's, it's all built in. So you don't need to worry about anything. Now, straight away, I'm going to point out and say, this product does, does, without a doubt, need an image selection tool so you can focus on the very, very specific parts of the image. Because... Those who use Photoshop will know that the selection tool gets used more than most other things. So, yeah, this, this particular program, 3D Luck Creator, needs a selection option. It's already got one right here, but that's for your selecting the image, and it'll give you all of the points for the color that you've just selected there. And that's absolutely fine. I've got no, no beef with that. If I want to select like a big portion of image and say, all right, that's the color I'm going to change, you, know, you can then go ahead and do it. But the image needs, sorry, you need a way to select a particular part of the image and it doesn't go for color correction. You need a particular way so you can say, oh, I'm going to select like this hill here. You also need like a lasso tool as well because that, that, that's definitely needed. Okay, so say, oh, I want to select this bit here like, along the hills. Obviously, it just brings up your color. It doesn't allow you to select the image and then change the color for that particular section. So it does need sort of a selection tool. I'm not too sure if there's one actually built into the product. I haven't used it for long enough to find out. So yeah, it definitely needs that. Now if we sort of compare this, these features between Photoshop's features, Photoshop has a lot more going for it because it has a selection tool, number one. Um, you can literally add thousands and thousands of brushes, features, uh, features, filters, effects, things like that you can literally add to Photoshop until your computer hard drive explodes or Photoshop stops working because it's too much to load. So you know you can add all of that stuff to Photoshop and it's endlessly expandable. Whereas this, I'm not too sure if there's a way you can add plugins. I haven't seen any sort of plugins here. So like no mention of plugins really. Um, no. So I'm not too sure if you can add them or not, but it'd be nice to see sort of expandable features added to this program. So instead of just giving the sort of color correction that you have available here, it'd be nice to see like an expansion side of the program where you can, for example, correct the image, color correct it, and then add like a fe uh, a filter over the top. So when you save the image, you'll get like a nice border or some something else. You know, it, it, it would be nice to have 
a little bit more to do with this program because the color correction on it is absolutely incredible. So moving back to this now, 3D Luck Creator for features. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to score it a 5 because there's so much more it can do, but there's so little it has. At the same time, though, there is so much it can do with, with the amount it has. Like, this probably would have taken me a good three or four hours in Photoshop to do. And I have corrected this image from this to this in about ten minutes. Ten minutes of work for you to do this job. It's, it's incredible. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend the program. Um, overall, out of 30, 3D Luck Creators managed to score 25 in my books. 25 is... I'm not even joking. It's amazing. It's up there. I've used a lot of image editing tools in my life. I've used Fireworks, I've used PaintShop Pro, Photoshop, things like that. And when I want to do a simple correction, say if I'm out taking pictures for the day, I'm not a photographer, I won't lie, I don't take many pictures. But say if I'm out taking some pictures and I go, oh, I really like that shot, and I take a picture on my phone, or, you know, use a camera, and there's something wrong with it, I will get it into Photoshop and I will work on it for about five, maybe six hours until I eventually give up. With this, you can work on it for about an hour at the most and get everything you want out of it. I cannot fault this program in any way, apart from the features side of things. It needs a selection tool, definitely. So, um, yeah, like, it is payware. That's, that's a slight downside. But um, if you're a photographer and you do this for a living, then I would highly recommend getting this program because... It will save you so much time, especially if your pictures are saved in RAW format. It will save you a lot of time. Like, can you imagine doing this for a wedding sort of thing? If you're a wedding photographer and you've got to touch up all, all your pictures in Photoshop, you've got to sort of add contrast, dull out the brightness in the background, things like that. You can do that in 3D Luck Creator in a fraction of the time. So... Would I recommend this program? Hell yeah, I would. This program is the bee's knees. I think that's what the crazy kids are saying today, anyway. So, yeah, I definitely recommend this program to anyone out there. Like I said, it is payware. Uh, there's a couple of versions. I think there's the standard version and the pro version. I'm not sure. Uh, let's actually have a look, shall we? So, what do we got? Okay, well, we do have a demo version available, which is good. And we have the choice to buy. Uh, let's have a look. Color correction in 3D Luck Creator is made by blending grid tied to the color plane containing the saturation and hue. Uh, the use of this interface allows the user in a few clicks to completely change the color scheme of the image or work with the desired color ranges separately. I mean, if you look at this here, that's exactly what's happened in my situation. Now, I've managed to Files and LUTs. Oh, that's cool. You can even uh, you can even download extra stuff. That's great. Oh, that's so cool. So yeah, basically, would I recommend this program? I would totally recommend it, especially if you're a photographer and do it for a living, because it will save you quite literally hours, like hundreds of hours, correcting pictures for the right color and things like that. I would totally definitely recommend it. It's a bit of money, but it'll pay for itself, especially when people see the quality of the photography you're, you're providing them. If we look at this now, like, I couldn't have taken a picture that good. I never would have taken a picture that good. I mean, you can see you can see the shadow of me in that image. You can't see the reflection, though, so that's a slight bonus. But yeah, that's the original, and that's how it looks now. I would so totally recommend getting this program to anyone. 25 out of 30. You can't go wrong. Play with a demo. Have a go. Definitely try it out because you might be disappointed. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You won't. You really won't be disappointed. The demo's there for good cause. If you want to try the demo, please just give it a go. And uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's my review all sorted out here. So thank you so much for watching. I promise to return soon with a nice tutorial. Uh, we'll be experimenting on a few weird and wonderful things in my next tutorial, so there's a bit of texture manipulation and whatnot. I might actually put this program to good use and see if I can uh, 
improve the look of my textures, eh? Yeah. So, 3D Luck Creator, buy it, try it, whatever you want to do, just go for it. Seriously. Anyway, my name's Mark. I'm from Soulfly Concept Scenery in the UK on planet Earth. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, turn your notifications on, goddammit. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you all later. That's a nice car. It's not even a car, is it?